Hello, manifestors. This is Jessica Presbibi coming at you with a little manifesting minute. So this is just something nice and quick and short and simple and to the point that I'm doing on Monday evenings. I just finished doing my workout and I came up here and got settled with my beautiful calendar. It's called Ask and it is Oh, where am I? Ask and it is given. This is by Esther Hicks. I actually have this in a little booklet as well that I love. And so something that came up on the calendar yesterday, March 24th, I thought was so suitable and would be a great topic and thought for our manifesting minute today. So if you are new to the group, welcome. Many of you have been joining recently from the Coaches Toolbox and, and those of you who are registered for the upcoming two-day event in Portland. I cannot wait to meet you. I'm glad that you've found your way here so that you can, can start to connect with me before we even meet in person, which is super exciting. And those of you who are longtime um, um, members of the community, welcome to you as well. If you're watching the replay, please let me know in the comments that you're watching the replay and let me know where you are watching from. I'm in Hood River, Oregon this morning or this evening. Um, and I got a puppy this weekend, which is super exciting. It was a surprise for my daughter. And if you look through the thread, you'll see a video of that, of her surprise, um, because she has been manifesting this dog, Rosie, since she was about four or five, and she recently turned nine. And so I share a little bit about that in that post. So children are master manifestors. We all are. We all are. We are all, each of us, always manifesting but children are really intentional with it. And it's not until later in life that we start to not trust our intentions and that we start to get coached out of um, what is natural. So I just wanna share that little piece with you. So go look for the video. I posted it, I believe yesterday, um, with a little insight about how Lily manifested Rosie, her beautiful white standard poodle. Okay. So here's today's manifesting minute. I'm going to read this to you. Whenever you have consistently focused upon a subject, causing a consistent vibrational activation of it within you, it becomes a practiced or dominant thought. So whenever you have consistently focused upon a subject and when you focus on something, it starts to create a vibration, an energy, if you will. And it becomes a practiced or dominant thought. And once your focused attention has sufficiently activated a dominant vibration within you, things, wanted and unwanted things, will begin to make their way into your personal experience. This is law. This is universal law. So your focused attention creates a dominant vibration. What you mostly focus on creates a dominant vibration in you. And because of that dominant vibration, you begin to manifest things wanted or unwanted. You know, they're unwanted if you're focused on things that you don't want, and it's a wanted result in manifestation into your experience if you're focusing on what you do want. So the question for you in this manifesting minute is, what are you mostly focusing on? What is it that you're mostly focusing on? What are your dominant thoughts? And you can easily answer that question by seeing and recognizing what has been mostly manifesting in your experience. Okay, so if what's been mostly manifesting is not something that you want, then you get to shift into, well, how can I focus in a way or focus in a different way so that I can actually start to create a new vibration? 
And that's where it begins. Our thoughts and our focus have tremendous power. And when we can start to really understand that, play with that, and take ownership of that, that's when manifesting and law of attraction gets so fun. So tomorrow I'm doing a live Q&A. It's going to be an hour long. There's people from my community, colleagues, friends that are inviting people to this live, ask me anything, Q&A, all around mindset, manifesting, and my Get Set Coaching Academy because people in this group and in my community have been hearing the buzz about my new certification program for coaches who want to use mindset and manifesting to help their clients get tremendous life-changing results and or for anyone, for anyone who wants to really master the skills of being a master manifester in your life. And why wouldn't you be? As a result, you have amazing relationships. You have the fitness and the health and the body that you've always wanted. Money comes easy. You know, everything really up levels vibrationally and literally manifested in your life when you really learn how to master these skills. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is at 5 p.m. Pacific time, I'm going to be answering any question that you have around law of attraction around manifesting, around, you know, whether your vision boards are a waste of time, probably, <laughs> depending on how you're using them, um, and anything and everything that you want to know about law of attraction um, and manifestation, how long does it take what, once you know what you want to manifest, um, how come it's not working seemingly. So any question that you have about that or about the coaching academy, you'll get all of that answered tomorrow. So I'm going to pop the link here. Um, if you would like to join me tomorrow for that Q&A, just click on that link, sign up, and you'll get a reminder when we go live. Okay. So the question for you is, what are you mostly focusing on? What are you mostly focusing on? And is what you're focusing on producing the manifestation that you desire? Meaning, are there signs that it is manifesting? And if not, you get to choose something different to focus on, or you get to choose how to focus in a different way. And I can teach you more about how to do that on tomorrow's live Q&A. Enjoy the rest of your night, everyone. And thanks for watching. Hi, Mary. Thanks for watching the replay to those of you who are joining on the replay. Good night.